Assalamu alaikum ji, we are back. Woo! Why are we back? Why are we back? Oh, whenever PSL anthems come, we just appear. Um, I'm so excited to be back, by the I way. I know, I know. I got so many messages from people saying that, you know, where is overground? Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? And I said, let's do it. कर लेते हैं क्यों नहीं आई उर्दू भी सीख लिया जस्ट फॉर दे अब अब क्योंकि फॉर एवरीबॉडी मैं मैंने सब आसे कहा है मैं बिल्कुल उर्दू में बात करूंगी बट शी कैन कंटिन्यू इन इंग्लिश मैंने कहा एक कोशिश तो करूंगी यू नीड टू स्पीक इन व्हाटेवर लैंग्वेज यू कंफर्टेबल इन एब्सोल्युटली थैंक यू म्यूजिक इज अबाउट Yeah, give English speakers a break. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I'm really glad we're here. Yeah. और अब मैं लेके आऊँगी अवामी म्यूजिक की एक एक झोंका. Amazing. 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 मतलब एक नए जो ड्रामे हमारे आए हैं एक ऐसा ड्रामा है जिसका साउंडट्रैक बहुत पॉपुलर है एक आने वाली सीरीज है जिसका साउंडट्रैक बहुत लोग सुन रहे हैं उसकी बात थोड़ी भी करेंगे ऑफ कोर्स पी एस एल की बात करेंगे Or music in the world, what's been happening? So many new songs have dropped because we have a couple months to bring to you guys, yeah. obviously, because we were gone for but so long. But we're not going to go back into too last much. Year. But just like uh. the big ones that I've really been enjoying as uh. of late, some hot mentions. Mm. Um, and yeah, shall we kick it off, my friend? Let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. Yeah. Sabse pehle ji, Sabha. Before we uh, continue with the, the your playlist, I think a word for celebrities around the world, musicians especially. Who have been speaking in support of Palestine? Yes, all day, every day. Yeah. Um. So actually, for those of you who don't know me, which is shocking, um, I'm a radio show host. So my playlist since October have only been artists who have spoken up. Only. Only actually, or signed oh. the ceasefire letter that was addressed to Joe Biden, U.S. President. Mm. <laughs> what a guy, honestly. <laughs> What a completely sane and normal person. <laughs> She's being sarcastic. Yeah, please God, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, what exactly. is this? Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, you know, and what I will say this is that it's allowed me to discover some incredible like musicians yeah. and artists. And yeah. actually, last year I said mm-hmm. like there's going to be a resurgence of like R&B, hip hop, and Punjabi hip hop in the world. And I feel like it's been nice to discover that because um, I feel like it's dismantling the way we think about a lot of things. And so it's nice when I see. Singers, artists who are like, I don't care. Like, I'm gonna speak. I have a platform. I'm gonna use it responsibly. And so many, so many have. Um, I wish more did. I won't lie. It's but I, a lot have. Who, who did? Who who was I listening to yesterday? Somebody was talking in concert. Can't even remember. Macklemore. Oh yeah, Macklemore's been a big Michael one. Macklemore's been yeah. very supportive. <laughs> I think he came out like in, around October. Yeah. Uh, spoken up, and so many people were like, you know, Macklemore. Yeah, I'm sorry I made fun of you. You know, no, I did I know. not understand your game. You found respect um, for Michael. But I also yeah. want to give shout outs to Manu, Natasha Narani, Hassan Rahim, who like did a concert in yeah. Lahore to raise mm-hmm. funds for Gaza, care for Gaza, or I sorry, uh, Gaza's. Relief fund, yeah. um, and I thought that was amazing because rising stars from like our part of the world, like mm. it's sad that it's a risk to talk about. And they were like, "No, no, no." Isn't it a risk in Pakistan though? I don't think it's a risk in Pakistan, but I think now, you know, with the success of things like Coke <laughs> Studio and stuff, where you're seeing our artists get more global opportunities, yeah, it can be a bit scary. But that being said, um, what so many Palestinian activists have said is right is like. The more of us who speak, the less dangerous it becomes for those that are speaking, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. I I give them mad kudos because you can lose brand deals and things even in Pakistan, believe it or not. So I'm a big fan of Dua Lipa, of course. Yes. Uske khilaf to pura New York Times ne ishtahar nikal diya. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, what the hell? And Dua Lipa, yeah. she, she's like our own. She's like our own. She's one of our she's own. She's one of us. And imagine <laughs> having so much on the line and Absolutely. still going for it, which is why, like, Absolutely. even stars with. I would say bigger power than her not speaking up. It's it's a a little disappointing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. for sure, for sure. Absolutely. But the ones that are hell yes, and the more that come out, more and come out. I think it's absolutely. amazing. Yeah, absolutely. But I do I do hope that the ceasefire is imminent. It's going to happen inshallah, soon. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. And yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, Actually, I've been kicking off every show uh, on the radio with Muhammad Afsif's um, "Ama Dama Palestini," which is like their song. I'm sure you've heard it at protests, and it literally translates to "My blood is Palestinian." And I play it at the start of every show and the end of every show. It's just like a show of solidarity. Um, so it's definitely become one of like my so songs. Let's here. play it today. Yeah, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Bilkul theek hai. Okay, so moving on now. Yeah. What sure. do you want to begin with? PSL. Let's get into PSL. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into PSL. Yeah. Okay, so PSL. PSL. That's the, the newest the, music on 
the horizon. The one that started it all, really. The one that brought us back <laughs> the to the table. The one that brought us back, uh, to, back to the, to the table. studio. Um, Kya kehna chahogi sabha? Okay. Teen gaane aaye abhi tak? Yeah, three Eka songs. Of the first time, PSL ka anthem. Actually, I believe Zalmi and Multan Sultan beat the PSL anthem. I think okay. in release, like just by like a day. But we'll start with PSL anthem. PSL anthem. Um, pehle tha ki Ali Zafar kar raha hai, phir tha ki Ali Zafar nahi kar raha, phir tha ki Ali Zafar kar raha, phir usne kar diya. Or um, I know, I know, my friend. It's <laughs> I'm I know, like, I know. It's, it's that is how the sequence of aisa hi hota hai. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Aisa hi hota hai. Aisa hi hota hai. Aisa hi hota hai. But purely on the merits of the song, yeah. I have to say, I don't love it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's I a know. really old song. Uh, I literally wrote. Uh, we did a re-listen before. I said it reminds me of like an, a Shahid Kapoor song from like the mid 2000s. It's mm. very Bollywood and like. No disrespect to Shahid Kapoor, but it's just it's something we've heard a hundred times, and I think it's a very big departure from last year's song that was like Shay Gill, Far Shafi, mm. um, and Asim Azhar, who I believe should sing all anthems. If you're yeah. a fan of this yeah, show, yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. is my king. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, underwhelming, unnecessary. Nee yeah, nee no, yeah, no, forgettable. It's, it's, it's not a good song. Yeah, it's also a lot like his older songs, older PSL songs. Yeah, you know, na city bajegi, बहुत सी उसकी tune बिल्कुल वैसी है. Video भी he did explain that you know he had just limited time to do it and you know last minute etc etc. But hmm, maybe he should have taken that as a hint. <laughs> Well, okay. Anyways, it's anyway, not on my playlist. Anyway, and yeah. Nasibo Lal and Asim Azhar yeah. should sing next year's PSL. Anthem. My, uh, That's Goob, all. Goob I'm Mera is my favorite all time. Hands favorite. down, all Fantastic. time favorite. Absolutely, yeah. it's 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 memorable. You don't memorable. forget it. It's, yeah, it's big. And uh, although she did say that, and I am forgetting last uh, year's the name of the song. I wish I could remember. But whenever I've gone to watch cricket at the stadium, just tells you that it wasn't <laughs> that great. Yeah, but you I don't even remember the name of the I'm song. I'm forgetting, but I I did really like. I remember we did like it, but specifically Shay Gill's part of that. Mm. That's what they always play at the stadium. Mm -hmm. Like that's you know they're kind of like cutaway or like right, in between right. overs. So right, right. I don't know. Let ladies sing uh, the big songs. I just think it's it's underwhelming. Like we'll, we're we've yeah. already forgotten it. I couldn't although, tell you one word. Although Ima Beg has a really big voice. She's yeah. got a beautiful deep yeah. voice and resonates in the stadium as well. Yeah. But somehow you gonna music and Yeah. No. And, and honestly, like I I appreciate that PSL and Ima Beg clearly do have like a good relationship. They mm -hmm. like to put her in. A, okay, think just give her the whole song. Like like I just I don't know. Let her be I don't the voice. think PSL will ever be one artist. It will yeah. never be a one artist song. Maybe, but then maybe with another artist. Anyways, uh, let's go. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the. Other muscle, maybe. Give him a call. Anthems. Okay, yeah. the anthem. So let's start with Zalmi's called Zalmi Yama. Zalmi Yama. With, uh, uh, it's Abdullah Siddiqui produced. Uh, of course, you can MPG. tell, you can tell. It's yeah. an Abdullah it's Siddiqui, Siddiqui song. song. It's his song yeah. completely. Then we have Nehal and Zahur. Yeah. And it is the song so far, because the other ones haven't released theirs, that has three languages in it. So we have mm -hmm. Urdu, Pashto, and English. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So they each take one of those. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I think it's a fantastic Achha, song. I loved it. I, loved I it. really loved it. The first thing is that you can tell that you know, it's been a lot of effort. Hai. The yeah. video is so cool. Yeah. And you know, the footwork is cool. The graphics are really cool. You see Shuja Asad, an upcoming young, bright actor. Yeah. And then you see Hania dancing. And the best thing is that Nihal, you know, female voice, Pashto. It's really, really She's, cool to watch. And I also want to give mad props to the fact that Hanya Amir, Nehal, and the other female dancers, like, they're not being pushed to the side. They're no. not being contained. No, no, and, no. like, they're having a good time. Yeah. I think this video really demonstrated joy. And, like, truly could have been the PSL anthem, if you ask me, because I think it knocks what you want. It feels like a song you want to win to. Mm. <laughs> You're having a good time. Mm. It has great energy to mm. it. Um, different languages, of course. And yeah, I, I thought I have like literally zero notes. I think Mother it was chair, really, really chair. good. And plus, of, like you said, that, yeah. you know, Zalmi is, is serious about their brand. Serious about yeah. their brand. They are not playing when no, it comes. Not. And you can yeah. tell they yeah. are bringing it. And I and I think it shows. They spend the money. They yeah. take the time. They didn't care if PSL was going to have an anthem or not. They knew they were going to have one. And, and then, it shows. Babar bhai. Yeah. <laughs> you see Babar Azam and you're like, okay. Yeah. I, I got to say, post-captaining Bobby might be my favorite. The sass he is bringing <laughs> everywhere he goes. 
I it love it. It was the best thing that could happen to him. Yeah. <laughs> while, the, while the show, I guess yeah. the captain's Might get the Kohli effect. Although I think really. Nalmiz have just won one PSL, right? Well, yeah, only one. Only one. Yeah. So guys do play a little better. And he did great, We're rooting for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. They, I, I think I him... Watched enough me partners. giving, like, your cricket update. Cricket I'm like, him and Siam are you. We're a great Lekha, partnership. But the song is fantastic. Yeah. I did miss Myra in the song. We will say, as brand ambassador. As brand um, ambassador. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She she sat this one out. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, it's cool. It it's is cool. very it's cool. cool. It, it's a very hummable, yeah. very memorable sound. Yeah. Okay, then our next one that dropped, mm. I think the exact same day, if I'm not mistaken, was Multan Sultan's Sultanat. 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 That had... It's uh, Talal Qureshi produced, mm. Manu and Natasha Narani, mm. who they are all frequent collaborators. And mm. I think that chemistry definitely shows. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked it. Like, I was a fan. I also want to say that I tweeted, like, when they swapped, dropped the teaser and I tweeted, I was like, wow, they went from, like, the dorkiest team, if you know anything about PSL, but also to, like, the mummy daddies yeah. of all of them. <laughs> and, like, um, to, like, the coolest. And every single one of them liked it, including the owner of the team. They were like, you're right. We have got it cool now. But yeah, I think Zabidas. So really cool people. Yeah. Of course, Manu and Natasha Narani and, you know, um, Talal Qureshi. I don't like the song. Yeah. I don't like the song. I feel it's very forgettable. Okay. I feel the video is really, like, it's it's boring. Okay. And with, with those figures jumping yeah, around, yeah. you know, it's not a high-budget video. It's <laughs> not cool. Their mascot is, like, literally a guy named Sultan, I think. Like, they just found the Sultan and Why? Sultan. Kya hai and, yeah. Kya hai? I will say, yeah, I think... Um, I think the video leaned towards like a traditional sort of like sports song. Like, okay, it's family friendly. Exactly. Gali and, khel yeah, khel you know, khel I think. But it, do you, can you imagine hearing the song in a stadium? I don't, I don't see it sort of echoing around the stadium or, you know, you know I, 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 anthem feel I think it does kind, it does play to my taste a little, a little. I will mm -hmm. say like, for me, like that is the type of music that I'm like, okay, this would like be on a playlist for okay, me. We, we love Natasha. Yeah, yeah. We know that. But I, but I don't think yeah. that she has the anthem sound. Okay. So I, I had think. actually, <laughs> I like to fight on the internet if you might know me. And yeah. I actually was like, I wish Natasha Rani was in the main anthem. But I will say this about both songs, um, Zalmi Yama and Sultanat. Mm. I love how women have Absolutely. big chunks of those songs. I Absolutely. love that they're having fun. I, yeah. And I think that that's something they both really nailed. Do you not feel that ima has got a big chunk on the PSL anthem? I think she does, but I think when you compare it to um, what her, uh, <laughs> what her f other star in the song, like, I think the way that he gets to like dance around and sort of like mm. have, you know, he's the focus in the center. Yeah. I do think that's missing for Ima on that. And I think that's a conservative approach that a lot of music platforms have taken. So I actually call it like the chair effect mm. where like some Coke studio videos, like uh, what's her name? What's moment I'm Like mm -hmm. she will almost always like be sitting in a chair yeah. versus like the guys are always like they're standing, they're dancing, they're interacting with mm -hmm. the camera. And it's like, and that's, it's like a chair effect that they usually put Pakistani mm -hmm. women like, cause they don't want to risk the like, and the comments and fair like it happens and I don't know whether Hanya got those comments though no she, there was a lot like first of all anytime a woman's happy people are like yeah, but um, there, I did see some like you know what was the point of you know Hanya Amr dancing around da, 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 and I'm like because she's having fun and she, she and is. what she represents in that song mm. is like me, a cricket fan yeah, yeah, and a music yeah. fan and like yeah. a fan of Pakistan who wants to see a Pakistan where we're allowed to dance without. The progressive side of Pakistan. Yeah, progressive side of Pakistan where I don't have to write a think piece to defend me, you know, shaking and grooving. Okay, we'll, we'll, okay. Leave, we'll leave that outside. Yeah, right I'm now. like, that'll be in the <laughs> yeah, second be, episode. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay, so you were, you were whatever I'm, I'm, a little I'm bit for a little forget me. Yeah. You're pro both. Yeah, I'm pro both. both. Like, I would definitely both. listen to both. Okay. Um, and of and as I always say about Pakistani music, although I did say this about the anthem earlier, but like I do love that they all kind of like collaborate mm -hmm. and stuff. And I will also give uh, Zalmi an extra like thumbs up because Nehal and Zahur, like mm -hmm. that was a very cool like to bring them in. And mm -hmm. yeah, of course we miss Shea Gill and everything, but like it's okay. But different people should get a chance. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, different it's people good, should get a chance. And bring back Nasiba Law. Bring Just make her like part of the brand. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Do that, yeah, do yeah. That. At least Lahore Kalandar should. Yeah, where why, is their why, song? Why, where is the Har Kalandar song? Yeah. Where is Karachi King's song? Such a big team back yeah. then, such a big media house. Yeah, yeah. Unka gana kitana, yeah. Do they no. have the money? Yeah. Obviously not the will. They don't care. Yeah. 
You're not cool. Yeah, because these other and I yeah, actually speaking because we talked about Zalmi's branding like Multan yeah. Sultan like I'm really mean it. They were like we're not gonna be the nerds anymore. <laughs> like we're coming up big and we're gonna But start we have branding. But we haven't really done of a mascot. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please, I, I truly <laughs> the fact that you just found a Sultan <laughs> that's wild to me. Wild. At least make him goofy, uh, like cool guy. Crazy, yeah. crazy, yeah. crazy. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, Ji Multan Sultan. Yeah. Yeah. PSL. Yeah. You get PSL. Yeah. Or. Or. Literally or. So I think one of the biggest music stories worldwide, not just so in if, Pakistan. If you guys don't know, Or is actually an acronym of their names, Ahad, Usama, Rafi. Nice. I didn't know that. I didn't either. You just, <laughs> I'm like, I wonder why I they picked that. Or. Or. Yeah. Or. Why? Acha, toh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's really cute. Yeah. So what I so if you don't know what we're talking about, I'm sure you do. But they collab. Zayn Malik, our our viewer, our brother Zayn, who is in London, it's his first Pakistani song yeah. ever. Yep. And the fact that he chose to collaborate with Or, which is like a kind of youngish band yeah. coming out of Karachi, yeah. hip hop, R and B, um, that's wild. Yeah. I mean, I was so excited, and I, I hate to say this as someone in the music industry, I wasn't that familiar with their music. And the min, and I, it came up on like uh, someone's feed, and I was mm. just like posting, resharing. I followed them because I was like, "What do you mean they have something with Zayn Malik?" Yeah. Thinking maybe it's a remix. I, my God, it's actual Zayn. It's actual Zayn. The Mere, real, yeah, the real Zayn. The real Zayn. The real Zayn. Zayn. <laughs> Veer jo pra, the real I, Zayn. Whenever huh. I announce his song on the radio, I'm always like, Veer Jo, you know, Jo London mein rehta He speaks Urdu like me, so that's why we're going to get into it. What did yeah, you okay. think of it? I loved it. Love I it. I absolutely loved it. It was playing yeah. on repeat on my Spotify. I loved it. And I, I found out that they had released a song last year. And yeah. And then they re-recorded with Zayn. Yeah. With those parts. And Zayn has sung completely in Urdu. Yeah. And tuti puti urdu like yeah. yours, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you know, that's I keep okay. waiting for people to say that because when I heard it, I was like, amazing, <laughs> ten out of ten. He's been taking his urdu lessons, yeah. and all my friends are just like, hey, burger wali urdu, and I'm like, no wonder I understood okay, yeah. it fluently. It's, 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 yeah. it, it's very brave of him to put himself out like that, you know. Yes, hey, very bahadur. <laughs> that <laughs> very means bahadur. brave and urdu. Very bahadur. Super bahadur. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very bahadur. <laughs> Have you said anything pro Palestine yet? So he has in the past mm-hmm. for sure. But he's um, quite quiet right now. Yeah, but I think he went quiet exactly. in general. Yeah, yeah. but like, yeah. you know, um, Gigi Hadid, mother of his child, still very vocal. Very also vocal. dating Bradley Cooper. Not that that's relevant to this show, but. Yeah. Huh, date someone your own age. Okay, <laughs> so uh, get help. Uh, so. Yeah. so Or also dropped another song this week. Okay. Yeah, and um, so I was listening to it and it's uh, good. Yeah. But I think how people respond to it. Yeah. Aja Mahi. So they are kind of in a lovey kind of a mode still. But Love no, really no gets you far. On this one. <laughs> yeah. No collaborations on this one, but it was getting a lot of views and people were loving it. Yeah. So I'm really glad that whatever Zen's collaboration did for them, it's given them a bit of a boost. Absolutely. People know that Absolutely. their name also stands for their name. Yeah. And uh, achha, yeah, we need we, we need music. We and I will say yeah. uh, on Spotify they have a couple dedicated playlists to Pakistan, mm. and it's just fantastic. And the way music is just pouring out Absolutely. of people here, and so much of it is self-produced. It is actually most of it, if not all of it, is self-produced. Yeah. So it's pretty wild to see it. I, and speaking of which, um, there were a couple ones that came out. Mm. Um, I'm going to go back a couple of months. So I know I'm about two months out, but Hassan Rahim. Okay, so wait, oh, before you go out. Yeah, come um, back, come back, come, um, back. come back. Come back a bit. Yeah. Aaj kal, uh, yeah. aaj kal, like drama aane wala hai, Abdullah Purka Devdas. And it's being pitched as a musical. Oh. Yeah. So, um, Sami Khan is a lyricist and he's also the vocalist in a lot of songs. Ek aaya pehle, Gana Biba, which is okay. like a Kavali anthem kind, originally, popularly sung by Nusrat Fateh Ali. Beautiful song, and it did really well. Yeah, and now I've seen they've, it on they've, Spotify. They've, they've, suggest right. Yeah, they've, they've released another one, Oh Sahib, which I'm not really a fan of in compared to Biba, but it's great that they've done a musical. But when you say musical drama, they're actually perf- like doing it like musical style we'll performing. When, well, okay, okay, it hasn't we'll, we'll premiered yet. It's going okay. to premiere on the 26th of this month. Yeah. So I don't know, and I don't think so. Okay. But I think it just means it's going to have a lot of original music. 
Which, thank goodness. Which is great, because what dramas have been doing, you don't watch Pakistani dramas, right? I do. I, I, do. It depends on which ones, but like I pay attention to the big ones. Right, so what yeah. they've been doing... <laughs> they get has, me in also. <laughs> what they've been doing is they pick up really popular songs yeah. and they put them on the soundtrack, on the title track. Yeah. For example, they did it with Mujhe Pyaar Hua Tha, okay. Kefi's song. Yeah. And they ruined it. <laughs> and then they did it with Sukoon's song. Yes. That and, is all, and, yeah. Uh, Sukoon. Yeah. And, and they, Hassan and... Uh, what was it? Roshan? Hassan yeah. and Roshan? Yeah. Hassan and Wait, Sakoon is... I'm thinking it's yeah. two different songs. I was thinking the no, Shea no. Gill song, Sakoon. No, no, that is the Oh, okay, okay. That yeah, is the yeah, yeah. That is the we, we are on the same page. We are on the same is page. What I'm so they took that song and then they ruined that. Yeah. Because what they do is they play it on loop, oh, repeat oh, no. for every flashback, for yeah. every slow-mo shot, for every like over and over again. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. Yeah. But with Abdullahpur, I'm really happy that they've actually commissioned a new soundtrack and new songs will be coming in. And I'm excited. It's, it's nice. I love that. I'm also going to pitch an idea right now as us doing drama review together. Because <laughs> oh, I think we would have... Let me, when I tell you that I literally will stand in front of the TV and be like, explain, what are you doing? <laughs> like, our boxing dramas are wild sometimes. What, have you been what, watching? what are you watching? Okay, so the name, again, the names are slipping me just because I'm nervous to be in the presence of Ye, this woman right here. But then, review kare, um, naam nahi pata Hamza hai. Ali Abbasi and Isa Khan. Jaane Jahan. Jaane Jahan. Yeah. I was hooked. You First think? of all, you, they, was, you was hooked? I was hooked. First of all, they're both just so beautiful. Beautiful, I They're know, so I beautiful. Know, like, Masha Masha, Isa Khan, Mm. looks incredible and uh, Hamza Ali Basi always you know <laughs> like looks great and I'm glad that he's back on TV absolutely, and stuff because he's a fantastic actor and um, Mariam Nafiz are Mafiz. you following it through so like, I haven't seen the last two episodes do just you know who Gulzeb is Gulzeb the brother no no the girl oh. yeah yeah that the brother is interested yes, in yes 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 Gulzeb yes. yeah I call her Gulbeb Gulbeb stunner <laughs> yeah stunner yeah. Gulbeb that was a compliment has she been in like a ton of dramas or a is this a couple, couple, couple right couple. she's a little bit newer because when yeah. she came on stage uh, oh, me turning this into a drama view I'm like what is your theory mm. on why the brother is such a jerk uh, but yeah I, mm. I get what you're saying though because a lot of times you're watching a drama and then all of a sudden it's like Oh, for like 20 minutes you're like Absolutely. yo we are just re-watching yeah, the last yeah, episode yeah, like yeah, yeah. please believe if you're a drama director watching this please believe we remember what just happened what like, just happened oh, yeah Achha, back to music but, yeah. so you've got a lot of your top music artists doing OSTs for dramas yeah like you've got Zay Bangash doing Parvar Digara for Khai yeah. right now nice. you've got Rahat doing a couple yes yes yeah. I've heard him a few and, times uh, Rahat, Rahat not in the Rahat. news at all <laughs> That guy's Where is real he? low. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know he was still making music. That's yeah. shocking he's, news. He's just doing the dumb these days. Yeah. He's doing the dumb. <laughs> the dumb maro dumb maro. Yeah, dumb. Literally. literally. He should remake that. That would be, let me tell you, if you're his PR people, that the would be memes hilarious. That came out of that. Oh yeah, my God. Honestly, it was like a revival of Bacchus on Twitter that I night. I mean, but I'm having a good but time. I'm yeah. But I'm a <laughs> So that's a good one. And then there's. Um, Ishq Murshid ka gana jo hai na, Emma Jahzeb ka. It's one song that is being, covers have been done all over the world. Some yeah. people are recreate kar rahe hai, India mein ga rahe hai, you know, jahan jahan Indian Pakistani fans hai, wo ga rahe hai. Yeah. Because the drama's trending number one in India, Pakistan every week. I believe it. I, I honestly. Do you not watch it? So that one I do not watch. Oh, well, you should. Yeah. What channel movie? is it? Uh, hum. Hum, it's okay. Hum TV, but it's another. I've been really caught very up in beautiful the. Beautiful people's. I love beautiful people. Beautiful Who's in it? Is, uh, Bilal Abbas Khan and okay. Dhrupishan. Dhrupishan, yeah, yeah beautiful. Good, I've it? been really on that green, green TV yeah, stuff. Yeah. Just the way they shoot yeah. the dramas is so like yeah. high value <laughs> that I'm like, what yeah. are we watching? And what I love about green dramas is that yeah. they, they think that we have to do something different. Yeah. Let's go, we'll see. Yeah. But we have to do something different. The drama with Go. And this has become all about Yeah, yeah. Drama. You know what? Go back. Let's 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 go back. back. That's why I said we should do a review back show. To me just be sitting here being like, and which actor is that? I love Gohar Rashid. I'd watch how do you think he's it. Okay, back to music. So actually speaking of Indian people listening to mm -hmm. Indian people, our neighbors listening to our music and recreating it. Manu, one of my favorite, absolute favorite Pakistani artists, he had um, a little uh, little album drop and he had For You. This was like towards the middle or end of last year. It's one of my favorite songs of his. <laughs> It was just remixed by a guy named M.O.A. Bantai. He's an Indian artist. Okay. And like he just dropped a fantastic remix. I'm sure that's remix. not how you pronounce I his name. M.O.A. Bantai. First yeah. of all, 
a Punjabi guy named Emma Way. Okay. I'm not sure. Let, 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 let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I've never so heard it. What did Manu do? So, no, he remixed it. So, like, okay. he's also singing in Punjabi and stuff. And mm. it's, like, doing so well in terms of numbers. And it's such a nice listen. And I just love that, like... Listen, visas might stop us, mm-hmm. but the internet keeps us connected. Absolutely. And I really Absolutely. hope more Pakistani artists work together. Like, I mm-hmm. want to see AP Dylan working with someone over here. I want to mm-hmm. see uh, Dilji Dosang working here and like coming and hanging out with me, like whatever. You Which know? I'd hope because they're yeah. not based in India. They're yeah. basically Canadian, right? Yeah, yeah. Now. And AP Dylan's doing Coachella this year, by the way. Yeah. He, he's got a concert coming up in Dubai as well. No way, when? I think on the 28th of Feb. If anyone wants to take me, by, just let us know in the comments. I think I'll be there. So if you no want to way! Me, <laughs> so Amna's taking me to Dubai. That's the prize. That's the surprise in the absolutely, video. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but okay, but, um, that I thought was really, really good. Actually, can I just say something? Yeah. So I can appreciate Manu, a couple of his songs, and also the fact that I think he's a very good, he's a lyricist, right? Yes. And he's a composer as well. Yeah. And he's very good at that when he's doing it for other people. Yeah. But where the music of music is about, and maybe I'm just from an older generation, I don't know, I don't get the hype. Oh. I don't get it. I feel that all you guys know him personally. I don't actually. Okay. So I'll say this, like when, when I... Guess, I don't know why yeah. you guys really love Manu music, but I, other than one or two songs, I can't remember a single Manu song. Oh, so like... For me, you know, it's not that I'm old, okay? No, no, it's no, not no. That I'm old Listen, I'm technically no, old compared started, to Manu's generation. I started listening yeah. to, for example, Young Stunners. I love their music. Yeah. I started, I love Hassan Rahim music. I really liked, enjoyed Abdul Hanan's music. Yeah. And I'm, that's not my generation. Yeah, yeah. But Manu, I don't get. So for me, so I will say, like, we don't know each other. Per- so I can say this unbiased. We don't know each other okay. too well, personally. We've only met, like, once, but... My radio show was starting when he, like, off the heat of, like, Lahore Music Meet, which is where Manu and a bunch of mm-hmm. other people would perform. And um, I feel like, I feel like he really speaks to, like, the way, what he raps about in his lyrical play. And when he sings, like, it, I, it feels like I'm hearing stuff I myself, like, want to think. So I just feel like it's, like, does it hit you in that way? I'm also the Drake generation, mm-hmm. like, the feelings rap generation. So... And I literally said this to someone today who was like, oh, some guy's personality is that he loves Drake. And I was like, listen, if you were born in the late 80s to the mid-90s, that's not your personality. That is your affliction. You have to like Drake. We yeah. are stuck with him. Yeah. But I think um, Manu is just very clever. But I'm genuinely like a big fan of his music. Like, TK, Close to TK, You, TK, For You, TK. Dopal. I probably listen to those songs like multiple times a week. Really? Yeah. Mul- Dopal is the one with Taha G, another great young um, artist from us. And TK. yeah. And actually, so yeah. But that's okay. That's Manu, okay. if you watch yeah. this, it was her, not me. Please don't hate me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you mentioned Hassan Rahim. Yeah. So yeah, what I, like this song came out, I, I completely understand, about two months ago. So forgive us for the tardiness, but his song, Wishes, which... <laughs> Been there. Have you heard this? I've not. Oh God, really? Mm. Dude, well, I, I have it. Yeah. I, I so I really love it. I feel like um, you know he did a little bit of experimental music with like mm. you a peanut to my butter and stuff like that. Okay. And do you remember that we we reviewed it on here? But okay. clearly she doesn't remember and no. didn't have an impact. But I feel but like I remember that video. Yeah, it was a cool video. Yeah, yeah. It had a uh, Yasmin yeah. and uh, Trinette and stuff in it. Yeah. Um, but wishes I think is like fantastic. And to me, I feel like it's showing like a little bit of like maturity coming into that okay, music okay. and like because it's still like feelings and okay. I call it like hot girl music <laughs> but like I I, I that, sense does it. that go in your hot girl playlist yes it absolutely does okay. yeah which is what I wake up to because I want to remind myself first thing in the morning priorities yeah I have a 90s workout playlist now amazing I mean it's like my my generation yeah yeah what kind of music genre all all of them Boy band music. Yeah, yeah, the, the best. Band music and boy um, band music. And Kanye, Madonna music. And yeah. Kanye West just released like two new tracks in which Are he we sampled. With Kanye West again? Not real. <sighs> it's so complicated. Okay, let's not go there. But he sampled Backstreet's back. Let's Backstreet not go there. Boys. I think okay. Kim is getting more hate than Kanye these days. Yeah, she needs Inside. to get it together. She needs to get a life. Anyway, he really does. Huh. So hasn't Rahim ne kya kiya? So the song is just fantastic. It's a collaboration with Dolvinder. I really enjoy it. Okay. Um, and actually another person, I don't think 
I don't think we shot this when Natasha Narani had dropped her new album. Had we? I don't think no. so. No. So she dropped a new album, um, and one of the songs on it I play every week. It's called Ha I Know. And actually, coming back to drama, she uses a sample from the MTV days of Pakistan okay. that had um, Aas a Asim Khan. Who's that light, light eyes actor with the curly hair? He was in Azhar Ke Aayegi Barat. Why am I forgetting his name? Light eyed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know I what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yes, yes, Essekan, Essekan. <laughs> Sorry, Essekan. I was literally going to be like, Ali Khan. It was me. Big fan. So um, it's him yeah. and Zoe Vikaji, and like she used that sample, and it's just a great party song, and okay. it's a great album. So okay. definitely, if you haven't yet, check it out. It's on Spotify. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think those are all of them. What else? What else? What else has been happening? So, I mean, the Grammys did happen. Yeah. And nothing much there. Big fan of Weekend, of course. Yes, yeah, big fan yeah, Weekend. Big fan of Weekend. Big fan of Weekend. Actually, he had his yeah. show popular that was like critically just demolished. And yeah. people were like, he's ruined his career. No, you can't ruin care. the Weekend's career. And he also the care. soundtrack from that, fantastic. 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 And yeah. then uh, Super Bowl happened. Yes. And uh, Asha did you know. Not I, mean, I it wanted was not one of the the, the memorable the performances ones, that I enjoyed. which is wild because it's Usher. So I will be one hundred. Like I, I had no real association with any of the songs. I don't. I can I just say I don't know Usher songs. Okay, so I grew. I'm an Usher generation, but it's just so he was very like pro Israel and stuff. So it was just like I don't really care to watch this. Yeah, then. Exactly. yeah. And then I think he brought out like um, Alicia Keys, who was mm. very off key. And yeah. <laughs> Although it's difficult for her to be off key, she's so good. Yeah. But it's tough for her to be off key. But no, this one didn't do anything for me. Yeah, no, I'm not that exciting. Not fun. Yeah. But I do think, like, if you're looking for newer music and mm. having some fun with music, definitely, like, get into some Arab. Hey, but so I'll say, so this is what's been happening, right? Is that they've been shadow banning a bunch of us. On, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure you've experienced you it. Israel? I've been shadow banned many times to the point that when I've had brand deals, I've been like, by like 24 yeah. hours, clearly I cannot post. Really? Um, yeah, because they would, I went from getting like four or 5,000 views on a story to 40 in like 18 hours. Like, and I couldn't even see myself from my Finsta. Right. Because I stalk myself. You just want to see yourself from another person's really? perspective. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But I, that's for my family. Okay. My nieces are on that one. I was like, really? <laughs> You're like, that's no, sad. I, no, I'm, I'm wondering, should I be doing yeah. that as well? <laughs> you should definitely have fit I do not. Yeah. Um, and so what so many artists have been, like people have been talking about Palestine and stuff I've been doing, right, is they've been putting songs from other artists. I have discovered so much Arabic music, so much Egyptian mm. music. Like, there's just a plethora out yeah. there. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, we're dismantling our Western <laughs> celebration, I think, a little bit. That's good. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. So, we're shaking it off. Yeah, and I'm excited for the fact that it's only February. Like, I'm yeah. excited for what this year's hold. Coke Studio um, should be on its way soon. Yeah. 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 Well, let's see. Let's, let's see. see. I mean, I do know that they must be holding back because of the Yeah, because of what's been going on. And uh, But I do know that they had recorded the season. Yeah. So it should be coming out. I hope so. Yeah. Um, it's one of our good cultural exports. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. Bollywood has been up to quite a few songs and soundtracks. Yeah. Wait, Animal being one of them. Sorry, before Bollywood, because I definitely want to talk about that. You had mentioned earlier, like, artists making original music for dramas. Yeah. So that's amazing. That's drama is a huge industry for us, right? So it's did like did I not say that on record? No, no, you did. So I'm saying like yeah. I hope more dramas do that. Like yeah, yeah, then absolutely. we would be because absolutely. putting money into these artists, yeah. like that's what they need because all of them are coming out of pocket. Like Asim you know? Azhar sang the soundtrack yeah. of Meh. Oh, which okay. Is one of, which is my favorite soundtrack. Yeah, it was, it that I know. That is damn. Good. Mr. Asif and Meh are yeah. the two uh, and Asim are yeah. the two good things that came out of that drama. I was Other than beautiful people. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but overall it was yeah. like. Mm, so it was so good. I got to see Asim Azhar perform live. Yeah, the, good. We haven't. We didn't get to hang out. I got to see Young Stunners <laughs> perform live, and wow. they guested like had Asim Azhar come on. They have a song called Yad, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and the way I, you, was, I was screaming like I thought it, I didn't even know who was in front of me, and I was like the okay. oldest person there. It was all Gen Z. And then when he finished. He had the audacity to just walk off, and I was like, Habibi, what are you doing? You gotta <laughs> sing me a BB. One not? of the best. Did he not? No. Oh, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but the Young Stunners, <gasps> fantastic live. Yeah. So good live. I, they're some of the best. And I would always say Manu, very good live. He sounds exactly like he does on Spotify. I've heard that. I've yeah, heard yeah. him live. Yeah. 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 
But so, yeah. um, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, Bollywood. You were saying no, no, animals. No, I was going to say Mayan. Mujhe yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mayan's soundtrack is really good. Also. I was like, yeah. it was very good. But Bollywood has been doing songs and then those songs go viral on TikTok. I mean, it's, well, please explain that to me. For example, Abhi Jaragav Ka, Angel Eyes. So the, I am... Why is it suddenly trending? I was working for... And then you realize that, sorry, that it's come out in a new film. No, no, yeah. And then suddenly it gets on TikTok and... Yeah. So I was working for a tech company um, and part of my job was creating content. So like I had to like talk to the youths in the office, Gen Z. And I was like, yo, what music are you guys listening to? Are They're you not dr- Gen Z? No. Okay, First no. of all... Thank you so much for saying that. That's a true friend. But I used to say when I was 33, I'd be like Gen Z in 33. Um, But no, millennial. But that being said, I asked them like, so what music are y'all listening to? And they were dropping names like 36 Mafia, uh, Jay-Z and rappers that I grew up with. So I was like, what are we doing here? And so Mm -hmm. they said, and, and then the other thing would be like, Taylor Swift, Olivia yeah. Rodrigo, and you know Manu, Young Stunners, that type of thing, and they were like, because of TikTok, we're being introduced to like '90s hip hop, '90s yeah, R&B, yeah. and really, I tell anyone who wants to get into content creation, I'm like, don't even care about the other platforms. Start on TikTok, or at least get your contact TikTok on huge. TikTok. Yeah. It will blow up anything, yeah. and I think we even saw that with um, Netflix when they had Kate Kate Bush's Running on the Hill. It was like an 80s song that became huge on Stranger Things, which we are boycotting uh, last year. And the way that woman's royalties just shot up after yeah. years of being dormant. Good for her. Good for, Good her. for her. Yeah. But yeah, Raghav's Angel Eyes. And then, of course, Jhumka Gira Re. Yes. From uh, Rocky Rani Ki Prem Kahani. That was on TikTok trending all over the... Not a bad remake also. Not a bad Not movie. a bad remake. I think that one... Not and, a bad um, film. I really enjoyed it. I loved that loved movie. Loved Can it. I just... Add, that's one of the first Bollywood movies I've seen in a while that wasn't a more serious tone. Yeah. And the way they subverted the rom-com tropes, I, I loved Absolutely. it. And I think... Um, of course, why am I forgetting his name as if I'm not like his biggest fan? Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. <laughs> like actor, one of the best actors in the world. I don't think so. Really? I, no. <laughs> I'm a fan, but I don't think so. Really? I think that Ranveer Kapoor is definitely a better actor, but I hated an animal. If you, if this camera could zoom in, I'm going to say it on the internet. I hate Ranbir Kapoor. I don't care. Oh my God. I don't think he's a good actor. And, and I fought with literally people on Twitter like came for my life. They, I'm, you're gonna, I'm gonna get doxxed off of this. Yeah. They are he's the most rabid fans like in the world. And I'm like, for what? Mm. Animal was terrible. Terrible. And it was I uh, know the production was great, the performances were great, it was yeah. larger than light, the music was great. Bobby Deol is great. Okay, <laughs> he was. But it was just very violent. It was really unnecessary. It yeah. was it was it was not my cup of tea I think, at all. Yeah, I just I think like, you know, there was all this conversation of like, should movies like that be made? And I'm like, anything can be made. Yeah. It's just it was we're not the audience yeah, for no, it. We're not yeah. the audience for it. Absolutely. Yeah, the muse I mean, they did that Irani mm-hmm. folk song. Yeah. Um, which was like Bobby's entry or Abrar's yeah. entry. Um yeah, that huge on TikTok, which made it huge on Reels Jamal three days Kudu. later. Yeah, da, 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 da. I played it for my family and they're like, what are we? What are we doing? Yeah. Like, are these children? I was like, I think they're adult yeah. women. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, I, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. A lot more collaboration. A lot so. more pulling out of the archives. I think so. And I would say this Jumka Girare and Ank Mare. Those are the two remakes yeah. that have actually been good. Yeah. And they both had Ranbir Singh. So. No, even uh, Ragos. Yeah, yeah. Well, Angel, Angel Eyes. Eyes. But Angel Eyes, the original, will forever be like, I don't think you can find a brown person on earth, at least our age, who's going to hear that and not be like, that and um, yeah. what was it Jay Sean's baby are you down we hear it and Mundia to Bachkirki we're like what are we being summoned <laughs> like it's our talk <laughs> but yeah anyway okay yeah yeah so okay. we will try and be regular now yes. we will be regular yeah, now yeah for sure and uh, we will keep doing this yeah and I hope new music I hope keeps coming in for sure will, I, will, I really will. have high hopes for it and again yeah. like it's just follow follow these young Pakistani artists, man, because they are constantly putting out music again on their own dime, and they're killing it, mm-hmm. really. And like their songs are almost always trending, like India, Bangladesh. Absolutely. Hassan Rahim went and performed in Bangladesh, by the way. He had like really? international students. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. very cool. Amazing. <laughs> I felt like I was there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe one day. One day. One day. One day. Doc, I'm so, coming. So, <laughs> guys, are you happy we're back? Do drop a comment. Yes. And uh, don't hate on us. Yeah. Be, be a part of the conversation, <laughs> yeah. actually. We'll join in on the comments. Uh, I know you do regularly. I'll also join in. We can talk about it. Mm. Um, 
I'm right, but we'll talk about it. And also, as always, last year when we were doing the episodes, we always asked you guys to give us suggestions yeah. of songs you think we should be paying Absolutely. attention to, artists you think we should be paying attention to. It doesn't to. matter ki song ki views kitne, yeah. ya, kitne, wo, it's a fark nahi padta, yeah. but gaana achha hona chahiye. Gaana achha hona chahiye. Ya phir koi trend kar raha ho aur bura hona chahiye. Yes, yes. And honestly, we yeah. want to have fun with the show. I yeah. think... Any sort of format, like like, if, or we can do dramas. We can do old school songs. Who do you yeah. want to see come back? Yeah, we're open for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I do feel that I'm missing something, but it's okay. Well, make sure you're yeah. following on what? Subscribe, follow. Yeah, ring the bell. Subscribe, follow, <laughs> ring the bell, drop a comment. Yeah, and drop your recommendations for sure. Yes, and uh, you'll see us soon. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>